Hello, welcome to another another episode of Lost Judgment. Uh, I forgot what I was doing again. Yay! Um, that means we get a fresh, exciting look into uh, probably some side stories and um, something something new. Oh, we got new stuff again! Yay! Serio High Advanced. I guess this is all will always just be more more extra boss fights and speed runs and oh there's a separate tab for bosses and battles. Gauntlets. Don't know what that is. There's the gauntlet and then there's gauntlets. Whatever, man. Um, 807. That's the newest. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember I started a conversation with these guys, and then I was like, screw this. Um, what should we do? Those that are still looking for the, for the time capsule. Should I help them? Yeah. Okay, this is my chance to show how great the Yagami Detective Agency and Yoka and Hama 99 are. Excuse me. You guys having a problem finding something? Huh? Who are you? It's Yagami. From the Yagami Detective Agency. A detective? Yep. Normally, I work around Kamurocho, but recently I've been helping out Yokohama 99, which is my friend's agency. Currently, I'm an advisor to the Mystery Research Club at the school. Oh, so you're with the school. Yep. Yes, and I think I can help you. If you'd like, I could t you could tell me what's causing you so much trouble. I'll need a fee since you'll be availing yourself of my office's services, but it would be just a nominal courtesy fee. Mm. A professional detective, huh? Well, we do need something, someone who's good at finding th lost things. Why not have him do it? Mm. Yeah, I'm good with that. You're hired, Yagami-san. My name's Okikubo. Okikubo. I'm Hanami Hanamizuki. And I'm Yagamo. All three of us are graduates of the school, and we met up today for the first time in a long while. We're all here to dig up the time capsule we buried here many years ago. But all our memories are a bit hazy. We can't remember where we buried it. Do you at least remember anything that could be a clue? Hmm. Well... There's another reason it's hazy. Well, yeah, there is. We drank a ton of the day we celebrated our graduation. Yep. We were acting pretty damn young and reckless. You were really wasted. They were drinking, but they were minors. Um... That's illegal. Okay, well, there's there anything you remember? Like a marker or something? Well, we do have some notes from back then. Wait. They were drinking, so they couldn't remember it, but they took notes about where to find it? <laughs> the giant's wheel lording over the tree with the most branches. Three steps south from the roots. Two more steps southeast, and there's a treasure. There a treasure rests. Okay, so, uh... They were too drunk to remember where it was, but they wrote a poem about it. That's nice. Giant's wheel, I think. And uh, a tree with the most branches. I think that's that's my, my, my biggest my, bleh, my biggest clue right now. Um, three steps south, south, two steps east. Okay. Hmm? Is this some kind of code? Oh. Yeah, it's based on a code from a game that was popular at the time. I see. So what sort of meaning does it have? Well, we don't have a clue now. <laughs> I remember in the game there was this giant statue with a wheel, but there's nothing like that at this school, is there? Hmm. So maybe you chose something here as the wheel? At the very least, I'll, I'll try to use this coded message to start off the investigation. Could I borrow that shovel, Hanami? Hanami 
Thank you, guy. Hi. Now, what meaning could this coded message possibly have? I guess you can lord, or, lord over something by glaring at it. Something that's similar to a giant's wheel, starting glaring at a tree at the, with the most branches. Wait, why does a giant? Why would a giant have a wheel? It's not a giant wheel. It's a giant's wheel. That's one less branch for you to have, tree. Um, oh, here's another twig. Okay, so that wasn't necessarily the, the biggest tree. This is, a, I think, smaller. Oh, hey, suspicious. suspicious tree. This is not it. Oh, well, I didn't get anything off the, the other one. Maybe I, was, maybe I wasn't close enough. Hold on. Where did it go? There it is. Have dry lips. Much better. Okay. What exactly is a giant's wheel? What does the giant need with a wheel? Hmm. Nothing there either. What about this little tiny one? It's obviously not it. I wonder why just that one gave me the, the little thingy. Wait, this isn't the one I just looked at. No, I went in the other direction. Giant's wheel. Me an earthworm. Thank you. Oh. Just just go here. Do I have to climb up there? Maybe that's it. Very inconsistent. Let me start with finding this giant's wheel thingy. Um. That's the school. I think that's the garage, uh, not garage, <laughs> the gym.
Go up. That's a big tree. But it's outside of school property. Maybe they didn't build it or bury it on the on the school grounds. Which would explain why they couldn't find it. Exquisite screw, wow. Oh no. Um, I think this isn't as easy as it seems on the surface, which, uh, it's not at, at all easy. Um, oh, it does say to go there. I need to find something that's been compared to a giant's wheel glaring at the tree with the most branches. Oh, this one's still open. Weird. So I've got a couple more stories except this, and uh, then I can go meet the teacher at Plage um, Map. Map. School diary. Oh. There's a bunch of other uh, clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total. I could have just counted that up here. That would have been a lot easier. Does he want to meet me at the cafe in Camarocho? Wait. Uh, can I toggle out of the school or do I have to actually leave? You know what? I'm just going to leave because I don't I think I might have to. I don't know. Do some more detective work or something. Hey. Hey. The tree with the most branches must be this tree. Because reasons fits the description. That looks like the every other tree. Some trees have more branches. Okay. Then somewhere there's a giant... Giant's wheel. Wait, did I... Is the clue, um... Items...
Where did that go? And the giant's bill glaring at the tree with the most branches. So now I need to find the giant's wheel. Giant's wheel. Do the, uh... The case logo move? Oh, hey. No. That's suspicious. There's even numbers there. Color coded numbers. Um, Okay, so I think I'm at my wheel. Now it said three steps south, two steps east. One, two, three. One, two, hello? I mean, this would, would be a good place to, to bury it. Wow, th those are strong flowers. I can't step on them. Okay, that's... Um, here's another one. One, two, three... Oh. No, no. I just realized. One, two, three. East. One, two. I can't do it. How about from here? One, two, three, one, two. There's nothing here. There's pavement. Um... Wait, is this the tree? Yes. The tree with the most branches. It couldn't be any other tree. 
Couldn't possibly. That's a giant's wheel. Suspicious. Hmm? Is that a Ferris wheel? Maybe that's the giant's wheel. If so, the giant's wheel that lurds over might be referring to, to a tree around here. Yeah, I got it. I think I'm starting to understand the coded message. The giant's wheel that lurds over the tree with the most branches. So that'd be this tree. In other words... Starting from in front of this tree, three steps to the south, then two steps to the east. That's where the time capsule should be. So it's... Hmm? Somebody already got to it. Huh? A shovel. Well, I think it's going to be pretty... Got to be pretty close to this spot. Let's do some digging. Hmm. It's not here after all. Maybe I'm only a little off. I should try digging in a spot nearby. Hey, looks like I was right. I should let those guys know. But I am a little curious. That shovel, did someone use it re pretty recently? I wonder if that means someone else was already digging around there. Where were they? I think they were by the entrance. There they are. I found your time capsule. <laughs> what? That's amazing, Mr. Detective. That giant's wheel turned on out to be the Ferris wheel you could see from the backyard. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Now that I think about it, we did not get all giddy calling that thing the giant's wheel. Wait, but this... Isn't this different? I think it's the same color, but this thing doesn't have a keyhole. See? Eh? You're right, it doesn't. What are you guys talking about? Our time cap capsule was lockable and had a keyhole. Because we didn't want it to be opened up, obviously. This thing doesn't have a keyhole. But this was in the location that that code led me to. That's weird. Why would that be? Hmm. Well, the only thing that I can think of is... Uh... Hmm. You can't make that much of a mistake, so it was stolen. That there's a possibility it was stolen. Yeah. I doubt that. There were no valuables in it, in it that were worth, would have been worth stealing. Plus, it'd be crazy for a thief to be digging randomly and find the time capsule by sheer luck. And if there was some guy just wandering around and digging up the ground, that would have been noticed. Yeah, I see what you mean. Even if it's possible that that happened, it probably didn't. Well then... Thinking back, there were some curious signs of a disturbance near the place where I dig up the camp, dug up the camp time capsule. Maybe I can guess what happened based on that. Well, someone else mistakenly took it, I guess. There was disturbed earth near that, next to where this cat t time capsule was buried. So it looked like someone had been digging there. <coughs> huh? What are you saying? It's possible that your time capsule was taken by mistake. In other words... Another person who buried their t t t t uh, uh, another person who buried their capsule nearby mistakenly took yours. Yeah. What? That's what you think? Yep. Based on what I saw at the scene, that's my hypothesis. The other person dug up your capsule, which does have a keyhole, but it's been so long this person didn't remember that his capsule didn't have one. I'm sure if you had the guy with consent, he would realize it wasn't his. But obviously, he can't open it since it's locked. Seriously? That actually does sound possible. Time capsules were really popular back then. 
Burger because it seem, certainly seems like your time capsule was taken by a third party. So the only way to get it back is to figure out who took it. Hey, if we take a look inside this time capsule that I have here, then we get an idea of who has ours. Good point. Well, I hope he doesn't mind. Considering he's a thief, a traffic athlete number, a soft bear, and there's a comb here. So maybe it's not a guy after all. It's a girl. Anything that might uh, narrow it down further than that? Hey, look at this. It's a letter. And there's a name on it. Um... Say, yeah. Goro. This is Goro sounds. Whoa, no way! Hmm? You know her? Hi. Yes, yeah, she was one of our classmates. We all adored her. <laughs> That'd be cool though, don't you have a crush on Goro son? Oh, uh, yeah. You wanted to confess I went to her on the, the, the day of graduation, and you ended up chickening out and not doing it, remember? <laughs> Ugh. I want to see what it says. Let me see. Hey, don't just read someone else's letter. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. I'll shut it. Mm-hmm. Oh! Hmm? What? Hold on, no way! Seriously? What? That's a missed letter. It's not great to invade privacy by reading the letter, but... Now I'm curious. Hold on, is this truly necessary to the investigation? No way, why is this kind of letter? It's like Gotosan's type... uh, capsule. Okay, I guess this is necessary to complete the job. Here we go. Excuse me. Um, that's what it exactly. Well, you see, it's a love letter to the person she liked at the time. Yeah? What? Really? What's it say? I wanted to confess to you on the trip day of graduation, but now I regret, it, I regret I wasn't able to do that. Instead, I'll hide my feelings inside this time capsule. I hope that by the time I open this again, my love will be fulfilled. Wow, so there was someone she, someone she really, really liked. Who was it? Did she just give a name? Okay, you might want to sit down for this. The name she gives is... Yuda Okuyuki Kubo. It was you. What? Seriously? Hold up, you're joking, right? Let me see. It's true. Wow, that's an interesting coincidence, huh? Didn't you also want to confess on graduation day, but didn't know Kikuva san? Yes, but I never, th never thought Goku san could possibly feel the same way. Hey, Ogi Kuba, I just remembered. Didn't you put a love letter in our time capsule too? You never managed to give it to her. Hmm? Hey, so that means both of you buried your secret feelings inside of time capsules. And then not only did you bury them near each other, but the first person to come back and dig one out to took the wrong one. <sighs> only one way to describe this. No, don't say it. This is just a crazy coincidence. Yeah. You gotta say it. This is destiny. Come on, Ogi Kudo. It can't just be a coincidence. But really, destiny? Anyway, what we need to, to do now is trade captives with Kodosan. But how do you find her? That's the problem. Um... From where do they live? Get in touch with old friends. Without contacting an old classmate and seeing, uh, seeing if you can get connected that way. Hmm. I know, I don't know anyone else's contact info besides these guys. I lost touch with most people after graduation. Same for me. What about you, Ogi? Ogi Kubo? Yeah. Same. The only people I kept in touch with were you guys. I see. Well then... What about a yearbook? Would you happen to have a yearbook? Sometimes those are the yearbooks with have a list of addresses. Mm. Oh, I lost mine. Me too. And I moved. I still have mine, but it's at the boarding house in Osaka. It's time to go get it. Maybe you can call the, can, contact the school office and see if they have the yearbook from them. Yeah. No, that won't work. I've asked them that question.
question for it because at one point I want to look at it. We don't keep the earbuds. I see. Well, I guess it would be hard to find a lead from the earbud. In that case, where do they live? I don't know her current address, but if I recall at the time, I heard she lived around Chinatown in an engine show. Oh yeah, I think she was the daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner. Daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner in Chinatown. That could be a lot of people, but at least it's a clue. Is there anything else I could ask them? How does she look? Do you at least know <laughs> what she looks like? It would help if you had a photo. If, if I if I couple a photo with the knowledge that she lived near Chinatown, that would probably be, be enough to find her. Did we ever have a picture of her? I definitely don't have one now. You never got a chance to snap photos on, did you? But if a picture did exist, it would be in the graduation album. Hmm. I see. I don't have a picture, but I... I could draw a portrait of how she looked back then, at least. Oh. Oh, that's right. You're an art teacher, aren't you? Yeah, that could be helpful. Could you go ahead and draw that for me? No problem. Okay, I'm done. I'm pretty sure this is how she looked. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, I remember. Yep, yep. That's goto son. She always had that sort of gentle look. Yeah, you really captured how refined she was. Evidence. Alright, so maybe if I look for someone who looks like this but ten years older, I can find her. <laughs> and hey, if he finds her, it's time to confess, Okigubo. Okay, <laughs> what? Confess? No. That's right, man. You can't let, chance, let this chance slip away. Yeah, this is destiny. Your life could change forever. But, but Goro's son might be married by now, right? We're all 28 years old. Yeah. No, I don't think that's the case. I've heard through the grapevine that she's not mar married and very interested in finding someone. Really? But still. Okigubo, okay, enough's enough. You gotta make a move. You've been carrying on your feelings for goro san for 10 years. You talked about her during all the rare times we've met up. That's right, Okigubo. Okay, you need to get closure for that time in your life and move on, whatever that might be. Yeah, you're right. You guys just might be right. Good. Sounds like you're finally ready to get it done. Okay. Well, Yagami-san, my fate is in your hands. Time to head to Chinatown. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Where's the exit? Mogwort. Locked in. There we are. Through here. trust this school if they just they just have screws lying around on the floor okay so um uh, no not that one uh tasks 
That stuff's during the day. Uh, okay, so I got two places in Chinatown to look. And one in the bar district. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll do that. Shit, let me... Let me, uh... Mark that. There we go. It's roundabout, but it works. Sour senpai aliens do exist. Couldn't that just be a searchlight? No way. What searchlight could do that? I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, big Fikun. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Is that from Sour? After all, the term UFO was invented by the US Air Force to describe any flying object that has yet to be identified. It can apply in all sorts of situations. At this point, it's still a huge assumption that we just witnessed alien activity. It's far more likely to have a reasonable explanation. You seriously demand what you just saw with your own eyes? How stubborn are you? This is exactly what's wrong with the NRC. Nagami-san, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I'd seen all sorts of posts on chat about a potential UFO sighting, so I figured I might have been... I'd check it out. Why are you here? I was, in, I was invited out by Yagubikun to check take along with the Supernatural Research Club to look for UFOs. Hmm? There's a Supernatural Research Club at Serio? So, you're Yagami-san. I've heard much about you. I'm Akihiko, you have ever be the president of the SRC of Serial High. This is Akari Tokyo. Wow, why are the names so hard to pronounce? The vice president. Um, good evening. <laughs> so, you are out here at UFO watching, huh? Kind of like a joint case between the MRC and the SRC. That's cute. I can see how supernatural mysteries, mysteries are pretty similar to detective type mysteries, too. Yagami-san, what are you saying? 
Yes, supernatural research may share some similarities with the work that we do, but in the end, they're still totally different. I don't know about totally different. Maybe more like cousins. Listen, supernatural events are indeed unexplainable mysteries, but that's simply due to the current limitations of human knowledge. In other words, the term is reserved for phenomenon, phenomena that can be rationally explained by science or logic. Hold on. Well, our mysteries are just more stuff that we can't explain with current logic yet, right? That's true, but as a premise, mysteries are solved with rational thinking rather than pure speculation. This has been the foundation of the genre for centuries. No matter how complex, in the end, any mystery can be reduced to rational factual statements. Compare this to supernatural writing. Speculative tales with no way of verifying their accuracy and joy to their impenetrable nature. Open-ended questions and what ifs with the, uh, replacing certain research facts. The two genres of writing are like water and oil. The moon and the sun. Not only time for the Urshima Taro and Edgar Allan Poe. Now do you get it? Huh. Yeah, I'm not well read enough to know if that best person works, but I've got the gist. If I have this right. In fact, what I'm really hearing is the MRC and the SRC are sort of like rival clubs, aren't they? What? Rivals? That implies we'd ever stuck in the ring together in the first place. Yes, please don't put us together with the likes of the MRC. We're the ones who don't share with them if the BL would be unexplainable. Yeah, but Cocoon, it's because there's the truth behind the tale. That's what appeals to mystery lovers. But a pirate embark on a dangerous voyage without knowing whether he'll ever find treasure? In the cellar, Sepe, you can't deny that there are uh, unsolved mysteries in this world. I refuse to become some humdrum fact finder who's forgotten to trace the real mysteries of life in this universe. <sighs> humdrum? Oh, come on, you are so one of us. Um, Sepe, you've got more eyewitness reports than you are right near that location. What? I've got some very sky busy skies tonight. Let's move. Sasser chasers, let me out for some joint research to just ditch me, to just ditch me. They're certainly passionate about whatever it is they're doing. I'm just gonna stop by the bookstore, then go home. A new mystery will be a lot more rewarding than trying to track them down. Yeah. Alright, have a good night. Boy, shouldn't have been expect to see a UFO in that long Valentine. Can't forget about the objection part of the rumors though. Might be something serious there. Maybe I'll keep an eye on the sky just in case. UFO! Squirrel! Hey! Hey! A picture of a squirrel. But what does it mean? Scroll has appeared on the map. Um, so she's betting for me in the middle of the map. Um, oh. I'm pretty sure he's not in the school right now, so it's probably daytime. Um, they're way down there. Check the stories on that, about that, I'm a buzz researcher.
title episode, Death Sentence. Son, great collector feelings. I beseech you, come for me. Take me away, away from her to the furthest reaches of the stars. Senpai, cut it out. What if someone sees you? Oh, I see you. <laughs> it's the SRC, but what the hell is that be doing? conversation here. How does that work? Those guys are having a conversation, but they're... they're not here. Alright, whatever. Whatever, man. Yeah, I don't need any more, more pocket tissues. I'm, I'm good with them for now. Um...
that with this one, actually. Ah, oh, so many people. Am I at full health? I think I am. Ooh, I'm a little bit down. So few restaurants in Chinatown. We had so much trouble. Half a load of fried rice, yeah. That's perfect. SP gain plus, nice. Um, that's exactly what I need. Starving. Now we're talking. Pretty tasty, thanks. You. Hi there, I'm Detective Yagami. Huh, I'm the detective. Since you're here, I take you to my request. Yep. I did. But there were some parts I couldn't quite understand, so I was hoping to hear more details. First things first, my name is Joe Koike, and thanks for coming. I'm an international ramen researcher who travels the world. You can just call me Joe. International ramen researcher? Okay, well, I believe your request from me was to find the Phantom Ramen stack, correct? Yes, that's correct. Hmm. The Phantom Stall, it appears that man in Indian Tower. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, I've eaten every kind of ramen in the world except for that Phantom Stall. It's the one spot that I can't seem to get into. When I heard the rumors of it, I came all the way from France to find it. I want to eat there at any cost. Please, detective, could you lend me a hand with this? Huh. I have to admit, I feel your enthusiasm. If there is such a ramen stall, I'd like to eat there myself. It may take some time to find it, but I can accept your request. I'll start asking around. Thank you so much. I'll do some research on my end as well. Let's meet again once we gather some information. Good idea. Thank you again for your help with this all-important goal. Alright, now. Yeah. How do I go about this? I guess I'll start, I'll start with pressing my ear to the ground to hear the town gossip. Uh, researcher. There's a bunch of others asking him how to find it. There's one kind of advertising it. Okay, those two are close together. It's on some those two are close together. Let's go that way. Oh. But that one's... That one hasn't found it. What was the other one that was there? Tips on how to find it. Um. Maybe I can go there and then collect data from all the other people trying to find it.
I'm Trevor. Listen, I'm in this conversation. Soup? Ew. This is the Phantom Man ramen style. How'd you find it?
Damn right, but for real, I should have got my gym from the start. I kicked more asses than Ninja Inter Entertainer anyway. So yeah, you should check out my hot new event in Ninja Show. The grand opening of Paradise VR. Hmm. Oh man, you really have come away. Long way. Now what's this about a grand opening? You remember Paradise, Paradise VR, right? It's a virtual arcade from the camera show that puts you in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, you put on a headset and run around in a video game type thing. I've done that. Yeah, you know it. So we expanded into Ujin Chow just recently. And thanks to my creative genius, we did a huge overhaul of the gameplay. Instead of letting you race the goal by yourself, we put in some AI rivals to fight stop you. I see. Nice. So there's an added element of cabin competition now. Exactly. Now look, see that building? Paradise VR is in the basement. Tell you what, first game's in the house. Are you serious? Yeah? Well, oh, shoot. If it's, if it's free, then I might as well take you up on that. <laughs> Sweet. Then I'll see you there. Oh, this game is nothing but distractions. of them ready to go all modeled with the latest CGI software even nice nice chan came with a up with a few characters fair warning my creations aren't as nice as I am haha <laughs> here we go Ooh. Dyson Cube. Um, How do when board games get real? Dyson Cube is a fusion of Sugo Roku. I have no idea what that is. And VR technology that drops you into a futuristic version of Agent Show where the roll of the dice determines your reality. Go for the goal while competing against your rivals. Once the game is finished and the items you've acquired get converted into to, to cash. Okay, cool. Choose from two different rule sets. Standard or challenge? Uh, standard. Enjoy a more casual play style compared to the challenge rule set. Every space on the board activates a mission, so there's battle, battle or lockpicking. A rule set with a higher difficulty, such as stronger rival, rivals, but better rewards. Regardless, regardless of the rule set you choose, completing missions throughout the game will score you a nice bonus, but watch out with the challenge rule set. If your rival reaches the goal before you, you won't, won't obtain any items or bonus rewards you picked up along the way. 
Oh, so it makes it worse. Huh. Okay. Press to roll the dice. Press to stop the dice. The number of pips with the pier, one through six, represents the number of spaces you can move in that direction that's displayed. Press circle while the dice are spinning to stop and return before you roll them. Before roll throwing the dice, you can press triangle to use skills. Rivals are the opponents you'll be up against a dice cube. Just like you, these rolls, rivals will roll the dice to make their way through the game. If your rival reaches the goal before you do, it's game over. If your rival stops in an event space, the success rate will depend on the rival's skills. Watch out, rivals come equipped with special skills that interfere with your, your movement or give them an advantage. If you land on the same space as your rival, you'll enter a special rival battle. Page 16 for more details. Um, Skills could be activated by using the star you obtained throughout the game. A variety of wide range of effects from increasing the amount of spaces you move next to forcing your rival to not roll dice for a turn. Skills can only be used before you roll dice. Remember, your rival can use their skill, uh, their star, to perform skills just like you. Using your skills wisely is the key to reaching the goal before your rival. Also, you'll gain more skills by to use by defeating rivals. Take, try to take on as many as you can. King no Koronyan is a bonus character that, that appears in both the middle and long courses. Come in contact with Karen, King Kyorin, Koronyan to activate Koronyan mode. See page 8 for details. Activate Koron Koronyan mode also recovers your health to max. Okay. On rare occasions, golden enemies will appear during battle. Defeat them to cause King Koronyan to spawn somewhere on the board. The Lone Wanderer Virtual Asian Show. Koronyan is a mischievous di digital thief that preys in delicious player data. If you come in contact with Koronyan, all your items and stars will be taken away. After stealing your items, Koronyan will flee to another space on the board. Uh, encountering Kuronyan after chasing him down will trigger a battle sequence. If you win, you will reclaim your stolen items and stars. Moreover, you will may even gain a bonus with, along with your victory. On rare occasions, purple enemies will appear during battle. If you fail to defeat them, a new Kuronyan will spawn on the somewhere on the board. If you manage to come in contact with King Kuronyan, King Kuronyan mode will activate. Didn't say this already. Uh, Koronyan mode ends once you stop at a space three times. Many spaces in Dyson Cube will trigger a battle once you step on them. If you're defeated during battle, you'll be you'll be penalized by having your turn skipped. However, your health will be fully replenished. When your turn is skipped, you won't be able to roll the dice or your skills. Uh, should your rival right, right reach the goal before you, the game will end. The following penalties will be applied in standard. You must cash in all your items. You will also be able to earn all mission rewards you've accomplished up to that point. Challenge, you'll, you'll lose all your items. It won't, also won't be able to earn any rewards even if you've accomplished the mission by that point. Gained lost space. Landing on these will increase the amount of stars you have. Super gained lost space. Stepping on these will increase the amount of stars you have more than usual. Gift space. Battle space. Safe space. Uh, landing on these will present you with a locked safe. If you, you must then use your locking locking skills. To open the safe within the given time limit. If you succeed within the time limit, you will receive a valuable item. Parkour space. Stepping on these will test how far you can get by uh, climbing up a high wall. The grade of your reward varies based on the highest point you reach within the time limit. The helpful items you that you'll find along the way. Use helpful items that you'll find along the way. Some help boost your speed that are red or replenish the grip gauge that are green. Keep an eye on your grip gauge. It'll deplete if you get hit by obstacles. 
Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Okay. Roll dice. Use skill. Cancel. Check bonus. Items received. Map display. Reset camera. Check info. Okay. Well, if it ain't, new, if it ain't a fresh new face, howdy, the name's Koryan, and, and I run this dang old Dyson Cube game. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see. Back home, I always dreamed of being a big-time mascot, and well, here I am. Sure, it's nice to have this com some company in this doggone virtual prison of mine. Heh, <laughs> now let me learn you the rules. There's a couple basic things you ought to know about Dyson Cube. First, you can start rolling them here, dice, and stop them with axe. Lastly, and this is the most important one, you gotta get the core before your rival. Your rival rolls the dice just like you and moves around the them spaces. The game ends when your rival makes it to the goal, so keep that in mind, Sonny. Anyway, when, why don't you just give it a try? This time for your first roll. Don't be nervous now, Sonny. Loosen up them shoulders and relax them cheeks. My turn. 29 spaces to reach the goal. Go on and roll them dice. Bam. Three. At all item. Yes. This is the gift space. You can get your hands on some, some nice stuff if you end up in these lucky spots. Who's the guy? Ah, gift space. Good job. I wonder what you'll get. Paper plate. Oh boy. You can cash this item for 5,000 yen. It's an expensive paper plate. Once your turn's over, it's a rival turn. Yeah, I know. Oh. Rigged. Oh. The rival got into an event space. Oh boy, well, what's it gonna be? Your rival completed the mission. I know your enemies, but still, I gotta give it to them. They didn't actually do it. Oh, they got a paper plate. Guess the catnip screen on the other side, eh? Well, I didn't have to do anything and I got the paper plate for free. So, there's that. Player turn. You can check bonus missions with square, knock them out while you're having fun. Uh, use skills two times because the goal within 15 turns. Don't take damage. Encounter King Koronian. Don't fail at a space event. Oh, I have to turn. Okay. Um, I want to get three or six. Now. Okay. One, two. Three, four. Here goes that. Parkour space. You might see stuff falling your way. That's okay. Stepping on these will test how far you can go. Climbing up a high wall. The grade of your reward varies upon the highest point you can reach within the time limit. Use helpful items that you'll find along the way. Some will help burst your speed that are red or replenish the grip gauge for green. Keep an eye on your grip gauge. It'll deplete if you get hop hit by obstacles. Yes. 
That's not cool. Just keep climbing up. Idiot. Why didn't I pick up that green one? Oh, I finished? Was the time limit or space thing? Okay. And of course it only works here, right? Yeah. Oh, I gained five stars. One, ha! Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be something that we're not gonna watch. Yeah, oh boy, I... I'm shocked that he completed the, the task. Aw, oh, sandwich. He's also in the lead still. Five spaces. All right. Uh, what's it? What's it gonna be? Okay, I have I have two turns actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Lock picking or two, three, four, five or a star. Let's go with lock picking. One. Dag Nabbit, it's Kuronyan. If you pass him, we'll snatch up your stars and items. Careful out there, Sonny. Yeah, I, I read that already. Oh, thank you for the update. Oh, actually, I think there was a... Uh, a uh, DLC thing for uh, holidays. I will open my safe with my skills. Hey, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. Platinum plate. 100,000 yen. I don't know how gaining the stars works. Is it just like, hey, you gained a bunch of stars? Or you did well, so you get more. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be us two fighting each other. And I'm going to kill him with my fists ha oh no no that was a, a battle space I thought he 
fine. It's the battle space. Here's where you take part in battle events. Your turn gets skipped your health if your health run runs out, so watch it. This battle's only a one star, so if anything, it'll be a good warm up. Now go up, pound them into data dust, sunny boy. So is it a, a weird thing or. Oh! Okay. I don't like this. Why aren't you getting hit? Like, there we go. This is more like it. Okay. Huh. Fifty thousand yen for a luxury Yakiniku Bento. Price gouging here. It's way too much. And I got four stars. Ah. Uh, the platinum plate was worth much, much more. All right. Um... Wait, can I zoom in? Yeah. Um, I think I have to pass this space unless I get under three and do the gold cat thing. Come on. I don't know what that entails because I am uh, confused. Mostly about this whole situation. Butter my biscuit. If it ain't the glorious King Coronyan himself, passing him means you'll be traveling in double the spaces. Oh. So I wanted to do that. Okay. I see. It's a bonus character that appears in both the middle and long courses. Come into contact with King Coronyan to activate Coronyan mode. See next page with details. Activating Coronyan mode also recovers your health to the max. On rare occasions, golden enemies will appear during battle. Defeat them to cause King Coronyan to spawn somewhere on the board. If you manage to spot King Coronyan, you make sure to chase him down. If you manage to come in contact with King Coronyan, Coronyan mode will activate. During Coronyan mode, the number of spaces you can move, can move will double. King, Cor uh, King Coronyan mode ends once you stop at a space three times. Drone battle. Um, I don't know, but I don't know about this one. <clears throat> when 
an enemy is targeting your drone, a warning will sound accompanied by a caution display at the top of the screen. Try to evade immediately when this happens. Your drone's durability decreases as it gets attacked. Really? Should its durability reach zero, you'll get a game over. I don't have a drone. I wonder if it uses like a standard VR drone or if over, you know, when I eventually unlock it, uh, which at the rate I'm going is going to be a while, um, it'll be the one that I can like upgrade and, you know, get a better one making like the squares that I've landed on just super easy whatever let's do it i think please don't have can train change the controls oh no i have to shoot down a bunch of them Did it. Oh, that was like half my health down though. Paper plate, yeah. Rival turn. What's what's it gonna be? It's gonna be he won. Oh no, he failed. Yes, explain the skills to me. You can pick what skill you want to use with your triangle, but you can only use skills before you roll the dice. That's the problem. I'm, I'm like, okay, roll, and then I'm, I forget that I have skills. And then once I move and, and land in my spot, I'm like, oh, I should have used a skill. Roll change. Um, well, that's lame. That's a ton of stars for not really a good effect. I mean, not not, not a, a, a uh, impactful effect. And um, you don't necessarily know if it's going to be a one that you want. Whatever, it'll get me to the end first. Yeah, let's do that. I can move two more spaces now. Oh, thanks. All right, double, double move, right? Coronion mode. My cubicle feline frame is throbbing with power. Let's hot diggity hightail it to the goal. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, so how many spaces? Uh, two plus two. Ah. <laughs> uh. Two, three, four. Okay, combat or one, two. Actually, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, one, two, three, four. All right. I guess we'll do combat again. Yay!
I got an item. Wait, but wasn't that supposed to be combat? Prepaid card, 3,000. Wait. S some effect was ignored. I, I only moved two spaces. Rivals can use skills too. Ignore your plus. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, enjoy your plus one space. Oh no. No! Hopefully he fails. No! <sighs> okay, let's... Let's use extra points. Stop. What? Okay, yeah. I was kind of confused at first. Is this a lockpick? No, climb. Um, I'm I'm very good at this because um, I played Catherine, and it's very similar. And uh, Catherine was much harder and required a lot more. Um, Thinking. But they're s close enough to be, uh, like, you know, cousins, I guess. One second, what? Why? Oh, I, it depends on how far you climb. I guess that's decent. 5,000. And I got stars. Five spaces to go. Um, let's add a plus two since I don't really need those stars anymore after this. And roll. I think I'm gonna get to the end in this. Yeah. 14 spaces. Goal. Yeah. 
All right, what do I want to exchange? Prepaid card, yeah. Get, get rid of, oh no, that's not. I didn't think it was pick one. No, it's not, because it's, it's giving me the total of all of them. Then did I keep the, the prepaid card? All but one? Really? Only eight turns? Uh... Huh. Nice. No way I'm gonna get all of that money. That's like five times more than I already have. That's five times more than my life savings. You, are you just gonna hand me that money? This is the best. Store credit. Oh! They gave me the money. How was it? How was it? I'll tell you how it was. I made a lot of money. I'll be back. Yeah. I found that pretty fun and profitable. Right? Dicing cubes are the next level concept. But if you haven't noticed, we're kind of empty. Oh. Huh. Wonder why. Hmm. Real talk, I think the rivals in this game could use some work. They're kind of uninspired, you know? What a game really needs is a roster of pure badasses. Coins you'll never forget even after the fight's done. I guess so. I think I get it. Of course you do. <laughs> then I know what tweaks to make. Time to witness my mad producer skills in action. Expect to see some upgrades the next time you stop by. Gotcha. You do know what you need to do. As for me, I'll see you later. And just, just give me some more money on top of that. Wow. Whew. Um... Okay, so that's done with. Um, I think it's time to get some more skills. That's really good in concept, but I rarely use the X boost. Ooh, enemies with guns. I haven't seen any yet. I doubt I will for hours. Hours upon hours, tens of hours. Um. Before I started the stream, it was about 11 hours in. Um, I think we got like 50 to go uh, before uh, guns come in. Yeah, that's not true. Before they uh, 
make an appearance. Even then, it'll still be rare. Let's look at Crane, since I've been using that a bit. Bullets don't hit you while you're in the air. After evading an enemy attack, uh, is that through black or X? I forget. Break fall. Um, when falling from high places, that's never happened to me. Like outside of cutscenes. Running wall smash. Okay. Uh, I have to learn that at some point. Uh, it's a bit expensive at the moment. There's all these EX burst things, but I, I don't do it. Dodge at low health. EX health boost. It's like when you really want the health. Requirements. 12 skills. 12 health skills. Uh, eh, maybe. Yeah, I'll get that. I mean, why not? Grip gauge, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really been using it that much, but when I do, it's a good one to have. These skills make life easier. EX enhancer. Increases damage of EX action. Uh, yeah, EX actions. That If it was like all actions, I'd be behind it, but I mean, I don't really. Uh, oh, I can I can learn this. Um, One hundred fifty more. Let's go for it. It's so pricey, but everything else, I'm like, eh. Of course, I unlock this, 200%. Um, I think I'll build up to that and then go into some of the other things. Handle the heat. Once again, I have forgotten what mortal reversal is.
I have never been grabbed by an enemy. Uh, I've got enough money to buy that that bottomless. I think it was, the book was bottomless stomach. It's forty thousand SP though. Gross. Um, Silent destroyer. Maybe. I mean that's that's worth it, but. Um, I don't know. Oh, I got a lot of money. Jeez, like that was incredibly profitable and it was mostly down to luck. Oh, okay, so, um. Want to look for, um. Phantom Ramen Saw again. Let me go there first. It's a better tip. And uh, it's way closer. Cloudy pain. Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, GPS, you got to you got to adjust a little bit. Am I at full health? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Cat ramen. Huh? What's that? Ramen for cats? No, it's worth th worse than that. Apparently a cursed ramen stall around here uses cats in the broth. At least that's what my senpai told me last week in class. Yeah, that doesn't sound real to me. Although, I have this her heard about this one ramen stall from my grandpa. Apparently it's always swarmed with cats whenever the stall's around. Oh, really? Who do you eat there if you ever found it? I mean, I doubt cats would be hanging around if they were used for the food. Yeah, true. They use cats for their stoop, soup stock? There's no way, right? I gotta report in. Okay, that about covers the intel on the, on the ramen stall. I should hit up Joe now. Oh, he replied right away. He's at Meng Wu right now. I should go meet up with him to share what I found out. Isn't that where... No, that's where I met him.
Dirty iron. Hey, Josan, I got some more info, 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 info for you, but I don't know how much of it we can trust. Ooh, that sounds great, Yagami-san. You know what they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. Any information at all helps. That's for sure. Okay, where to begin? Um, ooh. Cables. The stall only appears at night. It's only a rumor, but some man who was talking about a phantom ramen stall mentioned that it only opens at night. So it's a night stall. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hear they sh set up in less crowded alleyways instead of busy streets. I see, I see. Soka, soka. This is valuable information. Anything else? Um, guided by a cat. The homeless were talking about a ramen stall with an opening schedule that none of them knew. Mm hmm. And apparently, they were all able to get it, get to it only when they were led there by a cat they knew pretty well. And the ramen there is exceptional. Guided by a cat, huh? That is pretty out there. But it's all coming together now. Anything else? Other? Actually, I heard this one rumor. Oh, was that just continue? Oh, okay. Mm hmm. That sounds quite intriguing, but what does that have to do with the Phantom Robin stall? No. Nothing really. Just felt like talking and saying my thing. My mistake. I thought I had more stuff to say, but I didn't. Cat broth. Hmm. This one almost sounds like an urban legend, but rumor has it this ramen stall uses cats for their soup stocks. Soup stocks. Soup stocks. Soup stocks. Soup stocks. Cats for soup. Yep. Yes. The college students were calling it a cat ramen. Ugh. Cat ramen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. It seems that cats are involved after all. Hmm? After all? I've actually heard all the rumors about the cats before, but I couldn't believe them. However, now that they've come up again through your report, it seems like cats are integral in order to get to the stall. Hmm. I guess that's true, but I don't know what we can do about that. By the way, do you like cats, Yagami-san? Huh? huh? Well, sure, as much as the next guy, but I don't eat them or anything. <laughs> do you like cats? I see. Earlier in our conversation, you mentioned something about the homeless who were guided by cats, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, the cat that took care of them guided them to the stall. You're not suggesting that we... I am. There's no other way to have a cat guide us. I knew it. But I don't know any cats. There are lots of stray cats in this area. They're cautious at first, but I'm sure they'll open up their hearts to us to us if we keep approaching them with patience. So to sum it up... You're suggesting we should befriend some stray cats and have them guide us to the ramen stall. You really think that would work? I can ma can't imagine these cats going to the stall themselves, especially if they're not on the menu. But this is the only option I can think of. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, okay, we've already gone this far, so I'll do a little more research. Thank you so much. I very much look forward to your efforts. Might as well start looking for cats in this area. They're the only leads we have after all. Find some cats nearby. Oh, hey. Here's a ton of them. Hi, cat.
around. Oh, hey. You look particularly trustworthy for a cat. Oh, there's a, a stray cat. Let's see here. Uh, uh, take me to the ramen stall. Please take me to the phantom ramen stall. Loud hiss. Meow. Wait, what? Guess I upset him. Mm. This is pretty challenging. If you want to get along with cats, you've got to let your guard down and get them to think that you're a safe human, Yagami-san. Mm. Huh? It's Nekomiya. Long time no see. Yeah. Oh, Nekomiya-san. It's good to see you. It's been like three years. Sounds about right. Thank you for your help back then. This is Mas Masakazu, Masakazu Nekomiya. He's a huge cat lover who once requested me to search for stir cats in Kamurocho. Excuse me. What are you doing You're here in Yakumo, uh, Yaka Yokohama? Business, perhaps? Yes, I actually work as a photographer specializing in animals now. There are many stray cats around here, so... I've even heard some rumors about some friendly chickens and crayfish in the area. It's quite an, quite an interesting place. I didn't know there were so many interesting creatures around here. I should be careful not to encounter any weird ones. But you were pretty popular on social media for your cat photos. Sounds like you turned into your specialty into a career. I guess you could say that. One needs skills to pay the bills. By the way. Is there any chance you can teach me how to befriend cats? Let me think. How about you give a name to each cat you encounter, for example? Cats learn their names through sound. Some studies have shown that they recognize the same pitch and length of a sound, which relaxes them. I see. Giving them names. Also, you should put yourself in the cat's shoes and think about what it wants. Does it want to be petted? Are they hungry? And so on. Each of their personalities will be different, but I'm sure you're, you'll be able to get along if you respond to their needs. The cats in this area seem to have a, have a network of their own, their own, and if you treat one of them nicely, it seems to spread amongst the other cats. Once you have that first bit of trust, the other cats might be more inclined to open their hearts to you. You'll often encounter cats as you wander about the city. Be sure to give affection to any cats you meet, and you can even give them a name. Call their name. When you encounter a cat you've already named, try calling their name. If you call them the wrong name, they'll get angry at you. <laughs> Once a cat approaches you, it's time to do some bonding. Certain actions, such as petting, feeding, or staring affectionately at them, will raise your popularity. In other words, your feline run reputation. These cats may may even give you gifts if you've bonded them with, with them enough. I guess that's about it. It's pretty rare for it to go well at first, so please just be patient and so show them some love. I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off, Yagmi-san. Hmm. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I'll give all this a try. Hello? What? A chimpanzee's driving a power shovel in Aomori. What a foop. Furwap. I'll head over there right away. Alright, Yagmi-san. I've got some work to do, so I'm taking off. I wish you the best. Nekomiya-san seems pretty busy. Well, time for me to get to work too. First things first, I need to get along with these cats. This is the dumbest. I'm gonna befriend you, whether you like it or not. Hey there, kitty. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I don't want to just call you kitty all the time. I should give you a name. A name? Princess. Princess. Stay safe. Nice to meet you. See you soon, yeah? 500? This is rigged. Okay, I'll uh, do that other side story, come back, 
Where is the time capsule? Oh. That was so close. Begin target search. Target search mode. In this mode, you must locate your target based on their characteristics. You won't be able to exit first person view until the target is located. Find the person who matches the traits described displayed on the right. Move the cursor over anyone suspicious and hold R2 for a closer look. Then press X to examine whether that person's a match. Okay, uh, big eyes, with double eye, double eyelid. Who doesn't have double eyelids? What the? What the? Mole under eye. Yes. Age. That's right. Pretty nose. I I don't know. Sure. Small nose. Thin lips. What? She's supposed to be in her mid... Okay, late 20s. It's probably someone else. Um, can I help you? Oh, um, I think I've got the wrong person, but you wouldn't have happened to, happen to be Goto, would you? Goto? No. Sorry, composition thing. Suspicious. What does double eyelids mean? Check the boxes. Hey, that girl matches the drawing a little, but then again, hmm. Compared to the portrait, she's a bit, her face is much more rounded. She might not be the person, but right, the right person, but I should talk to her. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Hello, sir. Are you feeling up for some Chinese food? Our restaurant has everything in Kaban. It's authentic Chinese, based on our own, our, our own family recipes. We like to call ourselves the Flavor Town of Chinatown. <laughs> and since you're so handsome, I'll treat you extra nice. Heh heh heh. Guys said Goto san was a relaxed, kind of shy woman, didn't they? Maybe this isn't her. Excuse me, I'm so sorry, but you wouldn't have to be Saya Goto san, would you? What? How do you know my name? Have we met? <laughs> I can't believe I could possibly forget someone as handsome as you, sir. So it is her. Um. Well, here's the thing. Plot. Wow, so I think I took the wrong time capsule? I did think it was strange that it had a lock. I didn't remember it having one. But I figure it was just so long ago I forgot there was a lock. But now it turns out it wasn't my capsule. Well, clearly she never meant to manage to get open. She hasn't seen Okikuba's law letter. To think I mistaken I mistakenly took one that belonged to Oki Ogikubo san and his friends. It must be fate. Hehe. <laughs> anyway, I should contact them. Huh? Is that Goro san? Yep. Yep, no mistake. She's certainly gotten rounder. You disappointed, Okikubo? Yakimo. Feelings I've had for ten years aren't going to change because of some surface level thing like that. <laughs> Even now, she looks radiant to me. Alright, that's the spirit. So listen up. Here's the plan. We open up the, we open up the time capsule in front of Goto-san. But then, the lovely letter you couldn't give her ten years ago was right there. And at that point, your affections which pass each other like ships in the night will finally be known to each other. 
With a confession like that, not even Goto-san could resist the tug of Destiny's heart strings. Okay, Ogi Kubo, go for it. Okay. Goro-san. Huh? It's been a long time. I'm Obi Ogi Kubo. We want to save Ryo together. Oh, Ogi Kubo-kun. It's been so long. The detective told me about the time capsule. I'm so sorry. I took the wrong. I took the wrong one. Oh no, it's fine. I'm actually glad this little mix-up. Nah, made us cross paths again, Goro-san. <laughs> eh, what a coincidence, huh? Totally. We need to thank the time capsule. Haha. <laughs> Looks like it's going good. This might be it. It's gonna be a different. Whatever his name is. Here you are. This is your time capsule, Logi Kubokun. Sorry again. It's okay. Here's yours. Thank you. By the way, did you happen to look inside? Oh, um, I'm sorry. We did. We needed to learn to who, who it belonged to. And, um, we read that letter, too. Oh, so you saw. Oh, wow. That's so embarrassing. Koro-san, actually, there's something I want you to see, too. What is it? Finally. Good luck, Ogikubo. It's something important I buried in my time capsule. Inside of it? What's inside, Ogikubo-san? Well, it's... Mommy! Koda, didn't I tell you not to use the front? <laughs> huh? Mom. Uh-oh. Does that mean... Uh, Goro-san, is that your son? <laughs> he's so mischievous. He's a handful, but yes, he's my baby. You've been married? Huh? Oh, you don't know? It was kind of a shotgun wedding. Just just keep this music at this frame on for a while. <laughs> Seriously? Oh wow. Hey, Adam Mizuki, didn't you say Goto san wasn't married? That was you, right? Well, it was just gossip after all. If you wanna blame someone, bl blame the rumor mill. You're totally wrong though. Anyway, you wanted, wanted you said you wanted to show me something inside the time capsule. What was it? Uh -huh. Oh, um, that was 